Supporting foot turned out. Supporting foot turned out. Back leg is not high enough. Ten times. Ten times, I've told her. There's lots of things that can go wrong with the number when you use props. These sugar daddy lollipops can break. You can injure yourself with them. You can injure somebody else next to you with them. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> All by itself. She was right behind me and just... Your back hit her stick. Yeah, and then it hit her in the mouth. Let me see. Is it bleeding? Are you all right? It just feels weird, huh? Because it's swollen. Oh, it burns. It hurts. Okay, well, stop crying and run your dance, okay? The show must go on. Come on, remember, you're the role model here. When we're dancing, you get hurt all the time, but you just have to keep dancing. Make sure you don't scoop that foot. If I were a cheerleader, I would never get hit in the face with a pom-pom. Macy, what I am trying to do for you is a solo that you do well. Go, this is it. Macy's routine is a hip-hop number called I'm Alive. I think Macy does have a lot of potential to be a professional working dancer in LA, but I think the kids are nervous around me. Try to pick it up. And Macy forgets her dance. You have been in that room the entire day after you arrived. I mean, I even sent you the music earlier so that you would have time to choreograph. And it looks like you were prepared. I'm not making excuses, but she hasn't eaten it all today. That's just probably over-rehearsed. Wait, she's over-rehearsed and she can't remember it? You're done. Go. I always do it because I want to like it in front of Abby. Until you get in front of Abby. I know, this is a lot of pressure to come in. You're not a mini and you're not a junior and it may not fit in size-wise with all these girls, right? But Abby's got you here for a reason, okay? I love you. Did Macy recover after the rehearsal fiasco? She did. I think she just, she didn't feel good. She started getting the chills, and that's why I worry about her getting sick, but she just had Abby in her head. Macy's not feeling the greatest this morning. I don't know if she's sick. I think she seriously is just exhausted. I hope she can pull through this, because Macy wants more than anything to dance the solo this weekend. If you're okay, if you have to throw up, you throw up, okay? She's gonna throw up, I think. If you throw up, we clean it up. It's that simple. I mean, if she's gonna throw up, she needs to go home. Like, what about everybody else? No, you I'm can't sorry, throw up in a dance room. I'm sorry, but that's contagious. Oh, it is contagious. Ah! Oh. Good morning. Macy's throwing Macy's up. Sick. She's not here. She's, she's no, she like, right she's there. in the bathroom. I think she's, like, throwing up. If God gave me that mother, I'd throw up every day. I literally have a phobia of throwing up. I do not want Lily throwing up. I don't want to be throwing up. That does not need to go around and everybody at the studio. Because yeah. we, have, we have close quarters. We want to be on a bus for several hours. She's just going to practice her dance and vomit in a giant garbage can. I'm worried about Lily's solo. And I don't want Lily getting sick before she goes on stage. I think that Jamie should be responsible and keep her daughter away from all the rest of the girls on the team. How are you feeling this morning? Better. You feeling better? Yes. Up next is entry number six. We have Macy performing I'm Alive.
Macy, it was so good. That was so good. You did everything Abby told you to. All right, we're going to do our top scoring solos of the entire day. In second place is entry number six, I'm Alive. She beat Bryn. No one except for me thought that was possible. And hopefully this will make Abby see Macy in a new, bright, shining light. You okay? You okay, Claire? You all right? You okay? Shake it off. Okay, okay, okay. Stop, stop, stop. Look at me. Don't freak yourself out. This dance is so important for Chloe because even if Abby stacked the deck against our team, Chloe's the lead in this number and she needs to go out there and lead this team to victory. The Eagle. Entry number 63 is a preteen group contemporary, light as a feather, stiff as a board. Despite everything that Abby did to give the other team an edge, our girls did it. They were amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, freeze. So we know that Hannah's angle is completely wrong. Look where you're standing. Look where the whole rest of the room is facing. I'm nervous for Hannah. She's on the bottom of the pyramid, and she doesn't have a solo. Obviously, she's not going to have a featured part in this dance. How do you move up the pyramid when you don't have those extra things? Everybody can work hard. Right. Everybody can earn a spot. Everybody can move. So there's things that can happen. Up, down, ha, ha, crap, step, back, ball, cross. <gasps> Holy crap. Oh, oh what did she God. do? Hannah's bleeding. OK, we need a medic. What's wrong? Oh, no. I'm gonna go check on Hannah and Ian. We need somebody. a doctor? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm like, okay. this is okay. not, this is my child, it. not a TV show. Hannah snagged her toe on the tape of the Marley and ripped her toenail off. Her toenail's gonna come off. We, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm not a doctor, I'm a mom. Your feet are always pointed, that won't happen. It's the flexing. We need somebody. a doctor? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, it's okay. I mean, she's gonna lose her toenail, which is fine. I'm losing it. I'm so upset for her, because in my mind, I'm thinking, Abby's going to take her out of the dance. And everybody's feeling this pressure that we have to do everything, and we have to do it right. And if we don't, then we could be sent home. And Hannah would be devastated. She's on the bottom of the pyramid. So if she's not in the dance and she doesn't have a solo, what does that mean? All right, this is the doctor. Hi. Hi. My daughter, uh, hey, guys, for The doctor's on the phone. Uh, I guess she stubbed her toe and her toenail's coming off. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's probably better just to take it all the way off. Right. Do I need to take her to have somebody check it out? No, 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 not at all. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you. It's good? Good. Now we just got to do a little more. The worst yes. part's over. I called and put a doctor on speakerphone. It's like Grey's Anatomy. Right. Take the straw, <laughs> slit the neck. Hey, come here. I love you. Come on. I believe in you. Let, that, let Brady give you a piggyback seat. Come on. For a little bit. Go, anyway. Walk in the door, OK? Yeah. For a kid. All right. Does it still hurt? My toe. OK, you can talk about that. Yeah. My toe is really sore, but it doesn't hurt to the extent that, like, I can't dance anymore. 
God, are you okay? What happened? Oh my God. What happened? She walked right into the curling iron. She walked right into the curling iron. It's okay. It's okay. She walked into the curling iron. When we were cleaning up for the competition, I was putting away my curling iron and I was wrapping up the cord. And I don't know if I turned or Paige bent down, somehow my curling iron burnt Paige on the arm. Here's some ice. And here's this. Oh. The kids and the moms were just great trying to help her out, make her laugh and, you know, make her feel better. You know, Holly was getting her ice. It really got her good. Yeah, you okay. did really get it good. Okay, you're gonna live. I think it made Paige feel a lot better. I feel so bad. Paige. Mm. Where's my? Makes you feel better. My first duet is going to Kendo and Kalani. You are doing a jazz duet. The name of the duet is grifters. And a grifter is a con artist. I am super excited I have a group dance and a duet this week, but my back has been really hurting, so I have to make sure that I'm extra careful. Kalani, what is the deal with your mother? She doesn't want to be here, so. That's not OK. Abby has these little underlying digs, so maybe this whole grifter thing is meant for Kira. But then again, Kira probably doesn't even know what a grifter is. Your back is killing her. I can tell. OK, don't roll on her back again, because she's the one with the hurt back. I'm watching rehearsals, and I can tell Kalani's in pain. She's just not up to dance right now. If it was my daughter, my daughter wouldn't be dancing. I really wish Kira was here to see how much pain Kalani's in. Melissa can take you home, and you can get in an ice bath or something. I know I'm going to so put bad. her down in every chain, Monday. Oh, I love you. I love you, too. That's all, oh, honey. I'm crying. Oh, honey, I love you. My duet's so hard, and I can't do it. This is nice down here. It's time that the moms get out of the studio, go for a walk, and just try to do what normal moms do. How is Kalani? She's not good. I said, how are you? Normally, I can push through the pain and I deal with it, but this well, has been hard. Maybe she shouldn't dance this weekend. I think she shouldn't. It's awkward for me because as a mom, I feel one way, and she's not my child. Plus, right. I don't want to be disrespectful to Kira because I don't know what Kira has said to her. It would be great if Kira was here to be able to say, Kalani, you're not dancing. I don't know if Kira would do that or not. You're the guardian here. You can say, you know what, Kira, I'm here. You're not. If it's up to me, I'm making that call. If you want to override my decision, you need to get here. It's very selfish for her mother not to be here. Why is Kalani dancing? I don't know why she's dancing. I'm calling Kira. Hello. Hi. Kalani is dancing, but I, I really don't think it's a great idea. And I told her, I told her over and over again, this can injure you for later. We can't let it go that far. She's like, I don't want to not dance. And you need to make matter. the call because you're the mom. I'm just her guardian. Why don't we get her right now? This is exactly why Kira needs to be here. She needs to put her foot down. Thank goodness Melissa's on top of it and do what's best. I'm really going to just thank you all this time. I don't think you should dance. I just don't want to let like, Kendall down and the group you're down. You're not. The no rock. one's going to get mad at you because you're injured. Never. No. OK. I can't say that I'm not disappointed. The cards are already stacked against Kendall. I have no idea what's going to happen right now, but one thing is for sure, Kalani can't and shouldn't dance. Kalani, yeah. please don't stress okay. about this duet. There's no, I just more feel problems. bad. So I have Kira on the phone. Hi. Hi, Abby. So um, Kalani's back has been bothering her. It's so bad right now, and I think it's worse than what she's really sharing with everybody. 
and I just think she needs to take time off. There's no argument. I'm the first dance teacher that does not want a kid dancing at their heart. Absolutely not. Kalani's mother has made it perfectly clear that she is not to participate in the group dance nor the duet. I respect her mother's wishes. <laughs> I just don't respect her mother too much. I just always have Kalani's best interest at heart. And her mom just had a new baby, I understand. But there's a daddy there. So why can't this dad take care of his baby so his wife can come be with her teenager?